In this video, how I turn this landscape into this concrete patio with a one-man crew myself. So stick around. All right, so today is our first concrete pour day for this new section of the patio. I'm gonna try some things differently here. I'm going to use a drill mixer, see if that works much better than doing the hand mixing. I'm hoping it does. First thing I need to do though is get the concrete to the back. So I just gotta haul a bunch of concrete to the back, then we'll get started. So the first thing I did is I laid out the perimeter form. And what I wanted to do here was match the pitch of my existing original concrete slab. And that pitch in this case was about a quarter inch per foot. And then I mounted the foreboard to the stakes I put in the ground, checked the pitch, and then started to set the other perimeter forms. And then to get the correct level and pitch on the opposite side, I simply used a line level to match the foreboard on the other side. Then it turns out I was actually a little high with my grade, so I had to come back in and remove some of the fill and just raked it kind of level and then took some buckets to remove everything. And then I had to tamp the whole thing again with the hand tamp, which is actually pretty exhausting. And then I set the center form. My goal with this project was to pour it in four separate sections. So I was gonna start in this first top corner here. I did some final excavation and tamped it down again. And then I was pretty much ready to go. So I started mixing the concrete, mixed it with a drill. I'm not gonna show the mixing here, but the point was I mixed it, put it in the forms, and then tamped it down with either the float or the rake. And then I screeded it with a straight two by four. Pretty straightforward, just got a rough level and fill the whole thing up, tamped it all in. And then once that was through, I came back with magnesium float to kind of smooth it out as best I could. And then once that was done, I came back over with a round over uh, edge tool and then kind of round it over the corners. And then I came back and did a rake finish. And then hours later, I removed the forms. And I was moving so quickly, I could start pouring the second section in the same day, which was phenomenal. And so same thing here, just mix the concrete up and poured it in. Now in this case, it was different. I did the screening in a different direction. And the reason was, is my concrete was still fresh on the, on the other pad. And so I didn't want to screed over the new pad and I wanted to keep my joint as clean as I could. So I'm, I've just finished this a few minutes ago. I'm gonna let it sit a little bit, let some of the bleed water dissipate. Then I'm gonna come back and I'm going to do the round over edges. And then I will do a quick broom finish. And then this half of this patio section will be done. So pretty productive day. I was able to pour two pads in one day. Uh, thanks mainly to this thing, uh, this drill. <laughs> and mixing in the bucket is far more efficient and far easier than mixing concrete by hand in a bucket with a shovel. So I'm very glad I got this investment. I'm not sponsored or anything by this, but I'll leave a link to this below. Uh, my goal with this was, was relatively inexpensive. If it will get me through to get this project done, I'm sold on it and right now it's going strong. So I've been able to increase my workload at least two times. So this is a pretty efficient machine here. So pretty stoked I got it. So here's what the final project ended up looking like and make sure to stay tuned and watch the other videos to see how the rest of this was completed. Thanks for watching. I'm Joe Kistel. Please subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. Take care.